J.D. Gibbs. Welcome here to Joe Gibbs Racing. I want to take the opportunity to take you guys inside our race shop, let you see what goes on uh, behind the scenes. Follow me. We welcome fans here uh, all year round at Joe Gibbs Racing in Huntersville, North Carolina. Uh, kind of in our lobby here, you can have a little bit of a display of our race cars. We have uh, trophies, a little bit of history, kind of uh, the past 18 years uh, encapsulated here at uh, Joe Gibbs Racing for the fan to see. My dad has a little, uh, a little bit on his history, and, and the Super Bowl rings are here, uh, all hid behind glass. So uh, please don't take those. For now, I kind of want to take you behind the scenes to something most guys uh, don't get a chance to see. So follow me. You know, here at the race shop, we have, uh, there's about 440 uh, people working in different uh, parts of, the, uh, of our race team. This is uh, our prep shop floor where a lot of the cars are finally uh, put together and assembled here. But you can kind of see as you look down the hall here, for the most part, uh, what we have here is just uh, guys getting ready to go to Daytona. So like got pit boxes on the wall uh, up and getting worked on and all the computers uh, getting ready to go. And then each car is kind of in like a different state of preparation, getting ready for, uh, you know, 2010. Uh, Nelson Cosgrove is an actual engineer. We have a few of those around the shop. Nelson, give me a little bit of overview. How have we progressed over the past 10 years? Just what does engineering mean to JGR? We've progressed a lot from uh, generally designing parts and, and building our own cars. We went from designing 70 parts a year to almost 3,000. It's a lot of numbers and uh, a lot of money, but it's worked so far, so I'm not arguing. This is our uh, CNC uh, quality control lab here, and CNC stands for Computer Numerically Controlled. Philip Morton will come along here a little bit and explain to you guys a little more detail what's going on in, in our CNC shop, mainly because he actually knows what he's talking about, and I don't. Uh, occasionally, when you're walking through uh, you know, our race shop, and as a fan, you come see what's going on behind the scenes, a driver will show up. Occasionally, <laughs> Joey Logano who actually does spend a lot of time here. You can tell his arms are getting bigger. Yeah. A lot of lifting going on in our weight room there. This here is our, uh, our fab shop where our cars are produced, built. The bodies are all called, what's called hung on the, on the chassis. And really what you have in here is uh, a group of guys that more than anything else are really artists. These aren't a are bunch of carbon fiber parts that are just stamped out and just given to you. It's all handmade. So it really makes a big difference in that, that finished product, you know, from, uh, for the race team. Uh, each, each team uh, is given a, a set of templates, uh, actually many sets, and when we get to the racetrack, the templates they have there to check the race cars are the same ones we have here at the race shop. You have to be within certain parameters, otherwise you can't race. So they kind of locked you in a little bit, but uh, there's, still, there's still a little bit of gray area in there that you want to work with and maximize your aerodynamics best you can. When you get to that track, it has to be right, otherwise NASCAR won't let you race. And so our guys are making sure when we, uh, before we take a car to the racetrack, they go through it once, they paint it, go through it again, and they go through it three times before it ever hits the, the racetrack to make sure you're right. When you look at what goes on in a race car, it's built, the chassis is built, the body's put on it. The last thing that gets done is it comes to the body shop, has to get painted, it has to look professional. Basically, this here is our, our a seven post rig, which simulates kind of a lap. Right now they have Daytona on here, and it lets the car go through a full uh, lap of Daytona, kind of simulating what the shocks go through, springs go through. So what these guys do here every week, they go whatever track they're gonna be at, uh, set up the seven posts to kind of uh, simulate that racetrack, and you get a good feel for a lot of testing, a lot of R&D they're doing. Jeff, uh, just give us a little bit of overview in, in the race shop, some of the stuff you do to get the cars ready uh, week in, week out. Well, basically what we do is we find out from Greg what, uh, you know, Greg wants for cars yeah. and what he wants in his cars. And then my job is to make sure that the cars are, you know, basically what Greg wants. So if Zippy comes down last minute and says, hey, change this for me on all my cars, what do you say? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> One of the guys who've been here around here a long time, Todd Foster. What are some of the basics that, that you'll run through on this thing before it hits the track? Uh, we do we do the uh, heights, of course, and uh, a lot of the tire alignments, the, the wheelbase, the caster, camber, uh, the toe, uh, a lot of things along those lines. This is kind of the final stage it goes through, you know, before we load it on the truck. How much time does it take you to set a car up generally? Uh, usually takes us uh, probably about two days. Two days. If we're going to speedway races, sometimes we'll take a little extra pains with it, maybe three days. Yeah. They like to pace themselves, for the record. Job security. So, thanks, Todd. Appreciate it, man. Uh -huh.
This is uh, where you can see the race car is, it all it goes through its final checklist before it heads on into our, our truck bay and goes on to our race hauler. When you hit the road, when you head out of here, what do you, what's, what's this thing loaded down with when you hit the racetrack? What, what are you able to do? Uh, we can pretty much, we load the whole race car just about, uh, depending on we have to pull the backup car out, we change the motors if need be, change transmissions, gears, uh, do the body work if need be, decal yeah. if need be. Uh, even feed the crew if you have to. In, in a typical year, how many miles? What are we looking at? Just, just getting the racetrack and back. Uh, on an average, about 85, 90,000 a year. 90,000, yeah. We've got test trucks on to kind of take some of the pressure off, but about 90,000. If you guys are ever at the racetrack, want something to eat, come on by the 18 hauler and Pete will take care of you. Picks right up. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, your brief tour here at uh, Joe Gibbs Racing. We've really been blessed over the years to, to watch this thing grow the way it has. If you ever get a chance to come through Charlotte, come visit us. Love to have you. And look forward to a great 2010 and kicking off with a great uh, Daytona.